Rotten morning everyone, it's Zombob here in Zombob's tomb, and a rotten morning to you too, Ted. How you doing today? If you're doing okay, bob up and down. Yeah, Ted's having a good morning. And it's another lovely day here in uh, Minecraft. As soon as I can figure out how to navigate the door. Hold on, there we go. Look at that. Nice blue sky. And, if you saw my last video, you'll notice the army of sheep have disappeared. So, obviously they moved on. Maybe they weren't planning to invade me. Or they're possibly coming back later for some kind of evil takeover. Uh, in today's video, I am going to be continuing what I was working on yesterday. Which was my uh, game of chance, you know. I'm not going to give away what it is exactly yet. I'm going to hide that. And I'm going to go uh, work on that in just a minute. But first, I'm going to come over here to my graveyard. And what my graveyard is, is I'm going to uh, give a shout-out to people, uh, just to celebrate the people watching my videos and people who uh, send me things and post funny comments and all things like that. And the first person added to my graveyard is Kitty606. And this is my actual wife in real life. So, hooray! I'm married! And she actually drew a really adorable picture of Zombob and Ted. So I'm gonna show that to you right now. Isn't that cute? It's just adorable. And the way I'm gonna do my graveyard is when I add you, I will uh, give you a little plot and a marker and a decoration. And she wanted the lilac. And on your marker, I'll put your name and a funny comment. And for hers, I wrote forgotten but not gone. And so uh, I'm going to try not to add people who just say they want to be in, but if you want to leave a comment that is the quote I could put on your marker, and if that's really funny, I'll definitely put you in. And so uh, that's the very first one. And uh, hers is up here by my tomb, but the rest of them are actually going to be down here in the big graveyard area. That's why I have this giant field. And hopefully the sheep will have eaten some of this grass by then. Now... I'm actually going to go ahead and start heading over there. Oh, no, no, I forgot. I'm going to head to my crafting table. I have something very important I want to do first. In my last video, I went into the blacksmith, and I found two diamonds and a stick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and craft a diamond sword. So ready, set, and bam! Diamond sword. Look at that. It's beautiful. I love it. And I'm going to take that with me. Not that I really need a diamond sword right now, but just look at it. It looks amazing. Oh, it's so fierce. Arr, take that, nothing. All right. That was a whole bunch of mouse clicking. All right. So I'm going to head on over this way, and I'm going to jump down and take some damage, because that wasn't very smart. All right. We'll follow the path into town, and I'm going to head over, and today I'm going to do the difficult mechanical bit for the game I'm making. And I got my chicken into the uh, into the machine, and I added a couple things between videos. I'll show you those when I get over there. And oh, librarian, look at that! Hey, librarian, you want to see my sword? Ah, uh, look at him. He's jealous. Oh, he wants to trade. No, I'm sorry, I don't have any paper. But I have a sword. No, nah, he doesn't care. He just wanted to trade. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I got the chicken into the machine, which is where I needed him. And I did a couple extra things between videos that I will show you once I walk all the way out here. I did not know it was that big a walk. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, horses. Okay. Uh, first of all, I uh, added a door. You can see down there, so the chicken cannot get into the little hallway. And there's this fence post here. And that will uh, be very important in the future. And I put down a bed, so I don't have a repeat of my last fiasco, where night fell and I had to go hunt down a bed. Well, I had to go make one out of that floating birch uh, birch tree? Yeah, that floating birch tree over there, which I will get rid of one day when I'm not lazy. Alright, so now I'm going to need this pressure pad and a dispenser. 
And I added more stuff to this box that I'm going to need for building. Oh, and I need a trapdoor. Alright, so let's go ahead and work on that. Which means we'll put the trapdoor there. And the dispenser can go there. And the pressure pad can go there. And the only rule I have about my hotbar right now is Ted has to stay down there. I cannot work without being able to see Ted. I don't know why, it's just how I roll. If you've ever seen a zombie roll, it's actually very funny. I recommend it. Anyway, this is going to be the easiest uh, redstone tutorial you've ever seen, I promise. In fact, for the first part, you don't even need redstone. Because the block is just going to be right next to it. So we just put the red block there. And the pressure pad goes on that. Bam! And we pull up this dirt. And the dispenser, it goes right there. Ta-da! And automatically, that block will activate that dispenser. So that's one step down. Um, oh, I need wool. Right up in my white wool. There we go. I should have sheared all those sheep that I saw in the last video. That would that would have been a great way to get more wool. But I guess you guys probably don't want to watch me shear sheep. Alright, so we need to put some wool here. Oh, no, I don't need the wool there yet. Well, I feel smart already messing up. That's like record time, isn't it? Been five minutes into the video. Okay, uh, I need the wool here already. This is where I can put it. So, one there, and one here, and one there, and this is the, like, front area of the machine, so I need six white wool, and I'm going to surround it in red, and there's going to be a yellow line that you have to stand at. So let's move to the red wool, Ooh, move to the red wool, so we'll put red, red, Red. And then we need... Dang it! <laughs> okay, here we go. We got a red one. And a red one. And some more over here. And the reason I'm not doing the ones on the side there just yet is because I gotta dig down and do the redstone that's gonna link up to the lamps. Which I don't have on me. They're in this box. Two redstone lamps. So there we go. And I have to be really careful to put these in the right spot. Because if I break them, I don't get them back. So, we got a lamp that goes there. And a lamp that goes there. There we go. There we... out of the way. There we go. That is looking a lot better. Now, it still doesn't look like a machine at all, but it's looking better. That's all I can ask for. So we need to dig under here next. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. I can't believe I am using my hand. I made a shovel between videos because I didn't have one last time, and I just cannot be bothered to go into my inventory and get it. So I'm just going to punch the dirt. So if you have a shovel, I suggest using your shovel because this this is not very effective. This is the poor man's way of digging. And, ooh, my hand hurts. Okay, I'm gonna get my shovel. Wait, wait, there it is. Shovel. There we go. Now watch this. Watch this. Bam. It's so much faster. Alrighty. And now, I gotta link up the redstone under there, I think. Is that right? That looks right. I don't even know. I built it, and I don't know. I don't even have the redstone on me. Oh, it's getting dark already. See? That's how much attention I pay. Got the attention span of a jar of almonds. I have no idea what that means. I've actually never seen a jar of almonds get distracted, so maybe that's a compliment. Anyway, let me hop over here and take a look. I think that... Uh, let me hop over here and get the redstone again, because I didn't get it that first time. 
Here we go. Redstone. Uh, we'll put it... You know, I don't need to use my diamond sword right now. It's just sitting there. Alright. Redstone. Got it. I don't want to jump in the hole. I'd like to do this from the top of the hole if possible. So we put the redstone there. That looks right. But you know, something can look right and be hor... Well, that's not right. I was going to say something can look right and be horribly wrong, but apparently I just messed up anyway. So, yeah. tall grass in my way. Here we go. That goes there, and there, and th I think that links up. Let's... If I stand on the pad, the light should turn on. It worked! Awesome! Okay, so I just have to do that on the other side. So, I'll go to my shovel. There we go. Shoveling. And I just shoveled the redstone. Good job. Like, if you're doing redstone and using your shovel at the same time, you should probably finish one thing before doing the other. Because you might shovel up your redstone. The redstone's not easy to come by, so... Ooh, I almost broke my lamp. I would have actually cried. That would have been like, the saddest thing, because those lamps are not fun to do. Like, I will admit that I used creative mode to get them, but I'm trying not to do that with anything else, and I would not be happy if I had to make another one. So, I did cheat. Those are creative mode redstone lamps. And if you're not happy that I cheated, uh... Too bad. Do I have any dirt? I don't know why I asked that. I just mined a bunch of dirt. It didn't just disappear. That would have been weird. Alright, so we put the dirt back so no one can see my redstone. And that's it. That is all the redstone you need. There is no more redstone involved in this thing at all. It's really simple. I'd tell you how much I used, but I was not counting. So if you want to go back and count it, you can. And wait a minute. One, two, three. No, that's right, that's right. I was about to say I messed up this entire thing, but no, that's right. Okay, so I did the redstone. Oh, I need to finish building the floor. To the white wool. Here we go. And it goes there. And here we go, more white wool. There we go, and we need red wool over here to be the border. Look at that. So let's, let's put all this red wool in my way, because not only did I hit the wrong button, but I hit it three times, so that's fun. And there we go. And red, and red, and... Oh, that side's almost done. And that red, and red, and do I have any yellow wool in here? Oh... I think that is exactly the amount I'm going to need. Let's, oh, I have more red wool up there. Awesome. Now let's take my yellow wool. Come down here, and this is the line that you're going to stand on to play the game. So, I'll give that away. You play the game from four blocks away. That is all you're going to get out of me until the video where I build the actual body of the game. Because I want that to be a huge surprise for everyone. Even you little chicken down there in the in the pit who I just fell into. Great. I just fell into this pit. Hi, chicken. Uh, try not to escape while I uh, get out of here because that's why this door is here so I can leave without you coming this way. Did I do it? Did I do it? Oh, I forgot. It's a trap door. I just put that there in this video even. I'm not even paying attention to myself. Alright, so... Yeah, I put torches down there for the chicken, because I thought, like, if a monster spawns down there, the chicken wouldn't be too happy. And oh, look, an egg. Hello, egg. I'm not jumping back down there. Alrighty. So, this is the complicated bit, and I'm not going to do all of it in this video, but I'm going to go ahead and put the wool down to patch up the hole where the chicken lives. So, it's going to be one, two, three... There we go. And then it's gonna go across this way. 
and oh boy, there we go. Look at that. That is marvelous. That totally does not give away what I am building at all. And there we go. And the rest of this I will not build right now because I am not going to let you know. It has to be a surprise. So I think at the moment. Oh, I do know something I want to do. I've got some levels. I'm going to come this way because I want to do something really fun. You guys are going to love this. I just remember that I have an anvil. Well, the blacksmith has an anvil, but we have an anvil where I named Ted in the last video. And that was a lot of fun, so I thought I would come over here and spend some of these levels to name something else. I'm going to name my sword. And I think I know the perfect name for a diamond sword. We're gonna erase all that, and we're gonna call it Your Doom. There we go, that is the Diamond Sword, Your Doom. So now, like, when I go and fight stuff, I can be, like, prepare to meet Your Doom. And then pull out my Diamond Sword and just whack them. And probably watch them blow up the road in my town, because if you saw the creeper I fought in the last video, it, it didn't end well. Although he did help me get the chicken, so... Maybe I should add the creeper in my graveyard. I don't know. Probably not. And so, uh... What time of day is it? Let me take a look. Do I have time to do anything else real quick? Yeah, I got time. Okay, I'm gonna come over here, take a look in my chest. What else do I need to do? Mm. Oh, I need to fill the dispenser. That's what I'm supposed to do today. The game is a game of chance, so you have a chance of getting something good or something bad, and I have been just out on like a cow-killing spree, pretty much, because I want to fill part of it with pork chops. Er, steak. You don't get pork chops from cows, do you? I don't think you do. If you can come to me and tell me that you got a pork chop, from a cow in Minecraft, I will be amazed. That will be super amazing for me. And so the odds are you have a chance of getting uh, one of five pork chops, steak, those are not pork chops, or one of five, or one of four, sorry, uh, rotten flesh. So, and my mouse is being a little wonky. Does not want to cooperate. There we go. So there we go. I filled it with steak, steak, and rotten flesh. So when you play the game, those are the things you have the chance of getting. And I know no one really wants rotten flesh. I don't either, and I'm covered in it. But that, that's what makes it a game of chance. You could win, or you could lose. Or you could get nothing. So there's three options. And two of them are lose. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll end the video over here by my, uh, game. Here we go. I'll stand right, right over here. And I think that's actually going to be just about it for this video. Uh, I will leave a, uh, link to the previous video in the description so you can go back and see what I did for the first part. And, uh, I hope you all join me in the next one to see it finished. And that's going to be just about it, so... Bye! Click, click, click.